Okay, Joe and I are here at the post office in New York, and I'm sending this to the Honorable Norman Goodman, who is the head clerk at the New York County Courthouse, 60 Center Street. Dear Honorable Goodman, enclosed is my free will act and deed, which I would like to record at this court. Please advise me of any court fees for recording this document, a right I choose to exercise as per our constitutionally protected right of access to a court of record in the county in which my husband and I live. This is not a request that can be fulfilled by any de facto office, such as a New York City Department of Finance Legal Affairs office, where we were directed to go. That office is in Brooklyn, so surely could not be the constitutionally protected office, which I assume yours to be, but stand to be corrected by any law you may cite which prevents me from recording my free will act and deed enclosed herein in your court of record. Therefore, if for any reason my free will act and deed cannot be recorded, would you state the law that says it cannot be, and would you mail this original copy back to me with the law inscribed on it why you cannot record it, if you cannot, and direct me to the office that indeed is the county recorder's office, and subscribed and sworn to before me this 14th day of February, 2012, by Paula Gloria Tsakinis Barton, proved to me on the basis of satisfactory evidence to be the person who appeared before me and the notary is signed above because there wasn't enough room. And here is the notary's signature. Now here is what we are recording. This is the deed. Recording requested by Paula Gloria Tsakinis. Uh, when recorded, mail to me at 7H because I had my stock certificate before I was married, so you don't see Barton on that. But um, this is my free will act indeed, that I accept fee simple in good consideration and declare ownership of this, the authentic deed to the seventh floor southwest apartment known as 7H in building on block 875 and on lot 55, known as 26 Gramercy Park South, facing 19th Street, on the land known as New York City. I am filing deed solely for apartment 7H. What is mine is mine, and what is theirs is theirs. I am filing claim as a living flesh and blood human being who has lived in, presently lives in, and owns apartment 7H in building on block 875 and on lot 55, known as 26 Gramercy Park South, facing 19th Street on the land known as New York City, as per stock certificate number 183, which is 95 shares of stock, which entitle me to ownership of apartment 7H in 26 Gramercy Park Owners Corporation in the name of Paula Sakinis, dated October 30, 1998. Copy attached. What is mine is mine, and what is theirs is theirs. I claim deed to what is mine, apartment 7H in 26 Gramercy Park Owners Corporation. To the best of my knowledge and belief, all I have stated is true and correct. And then I put my seal on it, which in my case is my signature, and I'm putting the three uh, fingerprints of, of I, I, either my left or right hand. I'll have to double check that. State of New York, County of New York, and these are the different seals that I got from, at first when I went there, they said I had to have it notarized somewhere oh, off. Yeah, it's yeah. notarized here. Yeah, it's notarized. Let me get this into what the light. Is it? The light, that. I know. Can you hold it up for the light? That's the original notary there. And then we got proof of that notary's authority right. also stapled to it. Exactly. So this document now has three seals. Paula's seal, a seal by a notary, and a seal by a court clerk that this notary is legitimate. Right. And then we're doing this cover letter to the court clerk because uh, the last time we were there, what did he say to you? To he said, if we could show the law or prove to him, if we could show the law or prove to him that what we're saying is legal, that he would record it. Great. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to send it by registered yeah. mail. Well, we have to wait in the morning. Okay, just to show, here's Paula with the documents.
And we're at the post office here. You see the sign of the post office? Yes, okay. we're going to send it registered mail because that goes in the jurisdiction of Bern, Switzerland, not through uh, what we feel is an unregistered foreign entity known to most people as the United States of America. And this misunderstanding of who our government is is causing a lot of confusion and 12 million foreclosures. So here we are, and we're putting in these documents. That was the letter that I just read, and then that's the deed. Let's pull it out and show it to be sure that people understand it's going. Here to the Honorable Norman Goodman, New York County Courthouse, 60 Center Street, Room 161, New York, New York. 1-0007-9998. I have that in a box just to make sure that I'm getting to my organic constitutionally protected county courthouse. And this is from me, and this is my letter that I read, and then that's the deed that and Joe was very careful to show had three seals on it, along with a copy of my stock certificate. Okay. And it's more expensive to do registered mail, but because it's show me putting from, it in the yeah, envelope. Right, show you it's, it's, it's going through Bern, Switzerland, so it's outside the jurisdiction of the Corporation of the United States of America, domiciled in the District of Columbia. All right, wait, wait, wait. And I'm sealed. Okay. And now we don't. Yeah, all right, that's that's our return receipt requested, and we should get that in a couple of days. And now we're gonna. Okay, we don't I'm have gonna, to wait in line. I'm gonna film you. Okay. And there's Paula going up to mail it. He was the guy, right? Yeah. This will stay. Yeah. Oh, I just move me to this side. Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Instead of buying flowers, we're using registered mail. Thank you. I think. I'm glad you want to pay, but I got a little work here to do. How how long will that take to get the return receipt request? Well, it depends when they sign for it. We'll try to have it there tomorrow or Thursday. Once they sign it, it'll take a couple of more days. Mm -hmm. Come back. So by next Monday, mm -hmm. I should get proof oh, yeah. that they receive. As long as they sign for it, you'll get it back. Okay. Cool. What's your understanding of the difference between registered mail and certified well, registered mail? Registered is for the security of the items you have here. If you can't afford to lose them. Let's say like bonds, yeah. titles, right. anything that's important yeah, yeah. you can't replace. It's a deed. You want it, right. right. That's the best thing you do. Yeah. If you do certify, it's only to have a record you mailed it. And if it's lost, and you lose that. Yeah. So you this know. can't be lost because it, you never it, had it, a case it's gonna where it's be separated. Lost? It's going to be separated from your mail. My carrier, when he picks it up from me, he has to sign my book. We know wow. every person who has Oh, cool. That's so you get a lot of service. Cool. Yeah. It's probably the best value. It's the best one. I mean, you pay a little more, but yeah. it's not. Yeah, that's the way to go. Secure. Secure. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, once I mailed something in that machine in the front, mm -hmm. and it was about $5, and I got a, a, you know, a tracking number like you Yeah, that's the confirmation. Yeah, well, you know what? I had it all all uh, addressed, but they needed their particular envelope. So I stuck it in their envelope, 
and I got the label and stuff, and I didn't put the address in. But I knew it would go to the dead letter place, plus I knew it's got if tracking numbers. If you had your number. return address on it, should have came back to you. It never came. No, it, not on the outside. It was completely blank, but it had a tracking number on it. Yeah. Now, if, if, if this had happened with, you know, a 42-cent stamp, mm -hmm. and it got lost in the mail, it goes to the dead letter place. Because yeah. I went there, the mm -hmm. main post office, even money was returned to people when right. they opened it up. That's how secure it was. Yeah, yeah, we try to. Yeah, for forty-two too. cents you'd get that service, but mm -hmm. for five dollars off of this thing, track it would have been a cinch right. to just open it up and to know exactly. Exactly. Right. But they didn't care. I called them up. They throw it away. They're not really part of the post office, That's or right. they don't. They're they're not under the same strict yeah. rules. So they're they're creamy. They're skimming off the cream of the profit and leaving the hard work like what you're doing here oh, yeah. is a lot of work. It takes time, it's going under lock keys from room suggest, to room. That's why suggest, you know, these little services, you might pay for it extra, but it's worth it sometimes. Yeah, yeah. we agree. When you send simple mail, you know, the person or whoever it is will say, I never received it. Yeah, now you have to prove did, it. Did you see yeah. that great?